Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours morning prayer for February 10th. Today, Saturday, we celebrate the memorial of Saint Scholastica, a virgin of our church. Let's have that moment of silence as we prepare for a prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Dawn finds me ready to welcome you, my God. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are truth. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Dawn finds me ready to welcome you, my God. The Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise, for he has become my Savior. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise him. The God of my Father, I extol him. The Lord is a warrior, Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he heard of into the sea. At the breath of your anger the waters spat up. The flowing waters stood like a mound. The flood waters congealed in the midst of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the spoils and have my fill of them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall despoil them. When your wind blew, the sea covered them. Like, like lead, they sank, sank in, in the mighty waters. Who is like you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like you, magnificent in holiness, of terrible and renown, worker of wonders, when you stretch out your right hand, the earth swallowed them? In your mercy you led the people he redeemed. In your strength you guided them to your holy dwelling. 
and you brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands established, the Lord shall reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my strength, and I shall sing His praise, for He has become my Savior. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. O oh, praise, oh, praise the, the Lord, Lord, all you nations. Acclaim Him, all you peoples. Strong is His love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh, praise, praise the Lord, Lord all you nations. A reading from the Song of Songs. Deep waters cannot quench love, nor floods sweep it away. Where one to offer all he owns to purchase love, he would be roundly mocked. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Good morning, my dear friends. Our reflection for today is from the book Son of Songs, a beautiful book of poems related to love. And one of the most important elements in love is commitment. But that word alone can cause great anxiety for many people. Why? Is not commitment a good thing? Shouldn't we embrace commitment and esteem those who are true to the world? Perhaps we struggle with commitment because past experiences have distorted our belief in it altogether based on the scars we bear to this day from broken trust. But no matter the reason, my brothers and sisters, commitment is a non-negotiable essential for healthy, God-honoring relationship, especially marriage, because doubt and worry can easily spiral the mind into a valley of despair, isolation, and depression when trust is broken. However, none of us are perfect. We all struggle with commitment to one degree or another because we break our covenant with the Lord each time we choose to sin. Therefore, there is a topic we should easily relate to, because learning to commit is simply an extension of our faith journey as well. My brothers and sisters, keep in mind this is a stigma in our culture that we men struggle with commitment. Countless articles tout men as the predominant weak link in relationships. However, is that necessarily true? Is so? Where does the problem lie and how can we fix it? My heart is ever pleading, show me your face. My heart is ever pleading, show me your face. I long to gaze upon you, Lord, show me your face. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My heart is ever pleading, show me your face. Now this wise virgin has gone to Christ. Among the choirs of virgins, she is radiant as the sun in the heavens. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, 
born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Now this wise virgin has gone to Christ. Among the choirs of virgins, she is radiant as the sun in the heavens. Christ is the spouse and crown glory of virgins. Let us praise him with joy in our voices and pray to him with sincerity in our hearts. Jesus, Jesus crown, crown of virgins, virgins hear, hear us. us. Christ, the holy virgins love you as their one true spouse. Grant that, that nothing may separate us from your love. You crowned Mary, your mother, queen of virgins. Through her intercession, let us continually serve you with your hearts. Your handmaids were always careful to love you with whole and undivided attention, that they might be holy in body and spirit. Through their intercession, Grant that the lure of this passing world may not distract our attention from you. Lord Jesus, you are the spouse whose coming was anticipated by the wise virgin. Grant that we may wait for you in hope and expectation. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of our brothers and sisters who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Jesus, Jesus crown of virgins, hear us. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, as we recall the memory of Saint Scholastica, we ask that by her example, we may serve you with love and obtain perfect joy. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. May the mighty God bless you, the Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.